most expensive vacation spots in the world. It is an open secret that traveling can be quite expensive, but when money is not a problem, the entire world becomes a destination. Whether you just inherited a fortune from your rich grandfather, got amazingly lucky and found a treasure chest somewhere during your previous budget vacation, or successfully robbed a bank, today we uncover the most expensive holiday destinations to swipe you a little closer to putting luxury before those precious pennies. Be sure to watch till the end of the video where we reveal the most expensive vacation spot in the world you probably knew nothing about. New York City Located at the heart of many U.S. industries, including several cultural industries, perhaps this city's tourism industry rides on its reputation for being a hotspot for business and artists alike. While the hotel service is flawless, you will be left a few dollars lighter just by a porter merely picking up your bags. With the exorbitant rates being pinned on demand and limited space, it may be fair to say that the hotels are simply priced and if you are an average traveler looking for an affordable trip, you will be scared away by the $730 per night for a luxury hotel and even the $350 for a mid-range hotel. With the exorbitant rates being pinned on demand and limited space, it may be fair to say that the hotels are simply priced, and if you are an average traveler looking for an affordable trip, you will be scared away by the $730 per night for a luxury hotel and even the $350 for a mid-range hotel. But perhaps the most expensive of all has to be the Suite 5000 on the 50th floor of the Oriental Hotel, which is usually only available to those in the know. Spending a night here grants you an experience like that of a glistening, expertly curated museum of New York culture with exhibition of New York City-inspired art lining the walls and a living room packed with records that follow the city's music scene back to the 1930s. This suite sets you back a whopping $360,000 in just one night. Number 9. Paris Another popular destination, maybe because of its reputation as a city of romance, is Paris in France. Together with the city's quaint café culture, the French love of pastries, wine, and chocolate, and images of the iconic Eiffel Tower lit up at night, this city also has a number of royal castles and lavish cathedrals dating back to the Middle Ages, and offer history buffs, architecture enthusiasts, and even the average tourist an exciting sightseeing adventure. It comes as no surprise, therefore, that this popularity should result to Paris becoming one of the world's most expensive tourist destinations. The hotels, which tend to go all out and are known to many as the pinnacle of fine dining, include some which were previously palaces and will charge you $26,000 just for spending a night with them. A meal in Jules Verne, located on the fifth floor of the Eiffel Tower in the city, will cost you 250 pounds. Swept off your feet yet? Hold your horses and keep your shirt on because by the time you hear the most expensive destination in the world and how much it costs, you might need someone close to pinch you, at least to make sure that you are not dreaming. And if you are liking the video so far, feel free to slam that like button below and press the bell icon to ensure you never miss any of our videos. And just in case you are new here, Factuality is the go-to home for amazing facts all over the world. Number 8. Fiji Boasting of 332 islands of pristine white sands dotted with palm trees swaying to the tune of a tropical breeze, many would be surprised to find out that Fiji is not just one island. Having become renowned as one of the best travel destinations in the South Pacific based on many reports, and as one of the most exclusive, Fiji is also known as a pristine island retreat with a keen sense of preservation of nature and a unique natural beauty and its remoteness. This exclusivity and remoteness adds up to the overpriced stay, with many charging you heftily for visiting the small islands in the nation, especially the ones away from the main island. The horseshoe-shaped Mentangi Island, for example, will allow you to do some snorkeling and diving and hike through the island rainforest and chill out at the outdoor jacuzzi and the lava rock shower. <laughs> now how about that? 
Of course, this is if you have $600 per night. Number seven, British Virgin Islands. Still feel that you are willing to spend more than what we have revealed so far? Then why not pay Sir Richard Branson a visit in his Virgin Island and leave behind a cool 62,500 pounds a night? Having earned themselves a good reputation as a rich Brit playground, Sir Branson would be happy to rent out part of his private island to you, if you can afford it. Another lofty destination in 895 acre Guana Island to you, which would have you fly over Beef Island since it has no public access, and then take the resort's boat over to your final destination. While enjoying the sandy beaches, taking yoga and tennis lessons would be an option here, if you're into any of them. And if not, you would still be spoiled for choice with activities like snorkeling, bird watching, and outdoor activities, such as hiking. Number six, Tuscany. Tuscany is a region you will hear less about since people prefer to visit popular cities like Rome, Naples, Florence, and Venice. Stretching back to pre-Roman times, its history will appeal to many, especially the hotels, which are mainly ancient villas converted to fancy suites for rich tourists. Because of its rare appearance in the popularity light, you may be deceived in thinking that you will pay less. With its big vineyards maintaining a rural touch, the accommodations, which are usually old barns converted, will make you feel like booking a ticket back home the very same day when you read the $3,000 to $4,000 per week. And this doesn't include the rental car you will need to get around and the fancy mouthpiece cuisines you will have given into along the way. Now that is one exorbitant European vacation. Number five, Bora Bora. This tiny island in French Polynesia has pleaded guilty of burning big holes in many visitors' pockets, not once. Famous with celebrities such as Nicole Kidman and Vince Vaughn, its hotels cost around a thousand pounds a night. It remains just a dream vacation spot for average travelers. Here you will engage in thrilling water sports activities like scuba diving and snorkeling as the overwater bungalows stare right down at you. One night will set you back about $400 to $1,200, which you'll consider worthwhile after you notice its beauty and serenity. Despite the difficulty of getting there and with airfare to the middle of the South Pacific not being so cheap, many business elites and political figures find their way to Bora Bora. But if you are on a budget, you may want to visit during off-peak seasons between December and March so as to get a taste of one of the best in the world. Number four, Seychelles. Seychelles, just like Fiji, boasts of a series of islands, but maybe not much credit would be given to it if it was not for Fregat, located in the Indian Ocean, just south of the main island of Mahe. A private resort, it is dotted with 17 lavish villas, all of them constructed out of mahogany and African teakwood, boasting marble floors, ocean views, jacuzzis, and infinity pools. Another great attribute is the resorts as seen in how the jungle and seven beaches on the island are well protected. The activities you would enjoy include windsurfing and guided hiking before you retire to your villas, which you will have rented for $3,000, or about 1,000 USD a day, keeping in mind their policy to rent for a minimum of three days you might want to make full use of your time and money. Number three, Dubai. We don't need to tell you much about Dubai. Arguably the axis of the modern excess in the Eastern hotspot, it is replete with travelers who have money to burn. If your aim is to spend the least money possible, then you may want to cancel Dubai off your list. The Burj Al Arab and soaring towers, and to leave behind the man-made islands, all spell the words heavy spending. Financed mainly by oil, it is a playground for sheiks and oligarchs, and this land of luxury boasts an array of grand hotels. With most resorts here costing anything skywards of a thousand pounds per night, expect to literally push the boat out a tad more on a 75-foot yacht for an hourly rate of 1,200 pounds. Number two, 
Mushaki. Mushaki is just one of the 11 islands in Copperfield Bay and doesn't show up at almost the top of our list in vain. Not only was it visited by Ernest Hemingway, but David Copperfield claimed that the fountain of youth was located on it. In terms of price, it demands from you to go all in, and you would have to rent the entire island for almost $40,000, including meals, a night. All so that you can choose who gets to stay with you on your Caribbean island escape. You can invite up to 11 people to share the resort with you. Deep sea fishing, diving, and a personal fireworks show are among the activities you'll get to enjoy. You could also get a customized treasure hunt, but you have to pay more for that. Number 1. Oslo This capital city of Norway takes the day as the most expensive city in the world. Filled with Scandinavian charm and still reminiscent of the Norwegian's Viking history, you will be completely blown away by rows upon rows of colorful houses and the proximity of scenic mountain vistas and the famous fjords. Oslo is known to be clean and safe and the fluent English-speaking population will make your stay very smooth. That being said, tourist industries charge about 20% more than anywhere else in Western Europe and a whopping 70% higher than world averages attributed mainly to the higher wages and relative wealth of the country. There are websites that offer tips and tricks for sticking to your budget, including where to find cheap accommodations, economical eateries, and free activities in the city, just in case you want to see it for yourself. That's all we had for today, and we hope that you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already, and let us know in the comments section below if you agree with our list. And oh, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep it factuality.